My name is Estelyn Wolkoff and um, I work as a psychotherapist and uh, I recently finished, um, almost finished my completion of the study with NYU. I was diagnosed uh, five years ago with a type of lymphoma uh, that was untreatable. And not only was it untreatable, but everybody who had had it had died from it. It was aggressive. And um, also, uh, there were no trials going on in the whole country. So, that was a lot to handle. Uh, always in my life, I've been an anxious person. And um, naturally, when I was given that diagnosis, um, my anxiety shot up. And even though years and years and years keep going by and I'm still okay, I know very well uh, that this could return at any moment. I worked on myself very strongly not to feel sorry for myself, uh, to say to myself uh, the most positive things I could, which was, um, even though nobody else has made it, it's possible I could make it. Uh, that's about as positive I could, as I could come up with. I really went to work on myself uh, because I thought that uh, if I were going to die much sooner than I had planned, um, then I wanted to understand myself better. I wanted to understand spirituality better. I wanted not to have a bitter heart. Um, and I wanted to be open. So I did what I could for the past five years. And um, now this study came along. I read about it I, online, and I think it might have been in salon.com, something like that. And um, I read it once, and then I closed it, and then I read it again, and I said, I qualify for that. So I traveled down to New York City for an initial screening interview. I traveled down to New York City uh, several times for psychotherapy sessions with my two psychiatrists. Um, Jeff Gus and Seema Desai. Uh, then they were with me during, um, during the dosing, both dosings, and they've also continued to do psychotherapy with me. The sessions take place at um, NYU, and um, they've done a really good job in making, um, I guess, what was once an exam room into a pretty comfortable living room kind of room. There's a uh, couch and um, flowers and books and uh, it seems not study-like, and um, you go in two sessions. One is a placebo, and one is the real plant. Uh, you don't know which is which, um, so it's two. I happened to have the placebo first, so I went for a second second session seven weeks later. I got uh, to the study about 8:30 in the morning. Um, at about nine o'clock, um, I was given uh, the pill. Um, I, uh, we had a, uh, Jeff and Seema uh, had a wonderful ritual um, with the three of us um, intending for how that day would go, which I thought was lovely. I also asked if I could read a poem and, um, and play a song that really moved me and I thought would set an attention uh, for the day too. You're advised to wear eye shades and lie down on a couch uh, because uh, the object is to go inward. Um, you know, having mentioned that I had taken psychedelics in my 20s, uh, the whole object was to see how beautiful nature was, to hear how wonderful music was, um, to see what, what could be seen, uh, to touch what could be touched. So this was very, very different. And um, because the whole thing that I was going to be experiencing was my own mind. And my expectation was when I took that pill that somehow um, I would see God, that I would, I would touch a, a level of spirituality and um, that my life would be changed. And what happened first and actually lasted much of the day was that I experienced great anxiety. And um, I experienced it as physical. And I saw... I began to see that it was actually a level of my mind. And underneath that, um, I also began experiencing great uh, emotional pain. And it seemed to me that that pain was the pain of suffering people on the earth and also the pain of the earth itself. And I felt 
I was actually feeling that I was um, holding the pain of the world in some way, and in particular, um, because I had been listening to uh, Black Spiritual, I felt, I, I could hear uh, the pain in that woman's voice who was singing the song, and it brought to me the whole, um, the whole gestalt of slavery and, and what that is to pull people out of their homes and take them here to this country and, and treat them like animals. And I, I, I sobbed and sobbed and sobbed uh, because of that. And the, um, the ability to just be held by my mentors and do that greatly, um, greatly relieved me. The worst pain and the worst fear and the worst anxiety turned into something that has opened which is the most precious thing I've ever known. And I, um, I, I, to think I wouldn't have known it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I wouldn't have known it. It was a sense of, I wish I could put it into words, but a, a sense of a, a, a connectedness uh, that runs through all of us uh, that I never knew. And also a sense of, um, of uh, the strength of it and the power of it. I, I now, looking back, it's been four week, three and a half weeks, um, I think part of my anxiety was the awe of that. It, it was as if the spirit that I had hoped to connect to was so much bigger and stronger than I had ever imagined. I was quaking in my boots. What Jeff had mentioned to me was that the lessons um, will, so, some, something I took away from what he said was that the lessons that you know intellectually this day will uh, take root in your heart and, um, and you'll grow to know them that way. And that's exactly, exactly what happened because the fear as it decreased um, transformed itself into um, this open heart, which was able to receive these, the, these lessons, um, you know, um, so who would have thought? Oh, the other day when I was meditating, I, um, I had this, uh, feeling coming over me and the thought was of compassion for myself, <sighs> you know, that touches me the most. It's that's such a gift. You know, I I have um, I was born with the ability to feel compassion for other people. Um, I was uh, loved very much by my grandmother, and that that I think that opened up my compassion for others. Uh, so I'm I'm very grateful for that. But um, I I have not been a person to feel compassion for myself. Um, I hold myself to a high standard and I judge myself pretty critically. And um, to have that moment of grace where uh, I was just, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay, it's all right. Uh, I just, I can't put it in words, but I'm so grateful and touched and shocked <laughs> and it's lasted. It's lasted, so I think that it will bring more changes. Somebody called me up today and they said, how are you? And I said, wonderful. And I am 65 years old and I have never, I just heard that coming out of my mouth. I have never said that, never. And um, that's how it's been with the people that I'm closest to, that I was already uh, closest to, uh, I'm having much more fun. Um, my husband, we're just laughing more. We danced in the kitchen in the morning the other day. I mean, just wonderful things. Um, my daughters who I don't see, but they're on the phone, you know, they're, they're commenting. They're expecting me to get very serious about some of the, our issues. And then when I just laugh about it, they just, they're really happy about that. You know, since, since restarting working as a therapist, um, I've been uh, feeling that, oh, how should I put it? Boy, I know I could help these people more if they could go through something like I went through. Um, 
I feel uh, that it is such a boon to learning about yourself, A, learning about yourself, seeing your mind, and, and three, uh, getting in touch with your spirituality. And I just know that if, if, if in the future this could be used with all patients, um, under the direction of mentors, shamans, psychotherapists, it would make for a much happier world. Um, you know, to uh, be very trite, I kept that expression, um, the family of man kept on going through my mind, has been going through my mind since, um, since that day, that dosing. And I see it in a way, if people could know how connected they really are, connected to spirit and connected to each other and connected to nature, and if people would know that their, so much of their fear would dissipate, so much of their ang anxiety would dissipate, and um, I'm just, I, I, I just hope and pray that this, uh, these studies um, will continue and open up the field.